So now let's add a logout functionality. So it's quite easy. So first let's add a little button here. It will show a logout, right? Okay. So let's go to this navigation bar and I'll duplicate this. I'll shift down key. Make sure you added a comma in here. You can remove comma from in here. We will get rid of this link. Instead, I'll be putting button in here. We can go to maybe sign in screen and we can copy this control C, right? And I can put that in here like so. I'll, okay. And I'll get rid of this post it. Instead, I need to do some stuff in here. Okay. So first of all, we will be clearing our local storage. So for that, I can use this clear, right? So our local storage will get clear, empty all list associated with value pair if there are any, okay? We will clear our local storage. Then we will dispatch, uh, yeah, we will dispatch an action, TYP type, uh, dispatch an action with the type, maybe C-L-E-A-R, clear right and payload no we don't need to pass in payload right we don't need to pass a payload right okay save this and let's go to this reducer and here if action dot type is equal to equal to c l e a r clear then we can return Null. So state is now again a null if the action type is clear. When it is clear, when we will be clicking on this log 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 out button. L O G O U T log out, right? Yeah. Okay, let's save this and let's save this. Maybe we can change the color of this right log out to let's say a kind of red, yeah. A kind of a red color. Maybe this control C. Uh, control. We don't need waves and all those stuff. Okay, let's save this. Okay, it's it's decent. It's decent. Okay, it's we. Ha this is fine, right? Logout button is fine. Okay, so let's try to click on this. If you click on this, uh, we have state updated to null. If I refresh this, okay. So I can navigate user back to login screen, right? Yeah. Because right now our state is updating, but the navigation is not happening automatically, right? So yeah, maybe we can navigate user to login, but it should happen, right? Let's check if uh, local storage has got cleared or not. So all uh, yeah, local storage got all the things got cleared in here. Okay, yeah. So we can make use of history again, right? Right. If for some reason uh, after logging out uh, user is not automatically getting redirected because it should get redirected because automatically to home because when our state is changing uh, when our state is changing this app is getting uh, re -render. this app also should get re render yeah then it should change right it should change it should automatically get redirected to sign in screen but for some reason it is not changing or we should try this one more time right we should try this one more time if it will not change cannot read property context oh my bad use history what the hell i am doing in here okay let's try to sign in uh, abc at, at the rate abc.com one two three four. Oh, we did we didn't work on this password, right? We should be make this hidden, right? Sign in success. If I log out, oh, this is not redirecting automatically. Okay, 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 okay. We can make use of history. Like so. Okay. Yeah, now everything should work. What was the issue? We didn't uh, made this type of password, right? Let's go to sign in screen from in here. Uh, we should make this input type of instead text. P A 
double s w o r d right let's say this let's go to sign up screen as well and type should be password let's say this yeah now it should be done right okay why it is not hidden i think i need to refresh that maybe no nope. it is it is working now i just restarted my create uh, react app right i just restarted my development server and it worked right okay yeah it's it's nice there is one more issue if you can notice if i'm clicking on this this is blue this is blue but this is green if i go to sign in this is green this is blue and the reason for that is in this app.css we have written only the type text here we should add type for password as well like so oh this is really weird this is really weird oh i need to put a comma in here i guess let's save this yeah i need to put a comma in here maybe yeah now it is working no actually you know uh, what i will do <laughs> i'll get rid of this you know i'll duplicate that i'll shift down key and here i'll write password like so let's say this <laughs> it should work now okay yeah it's fine okay beautiful <laughs> so we can put a comma in here as well right we can put a comma but then we need to put this same stuff after that comma as well right yeah you can do that uh, right css is not at all a big deal right okay we are not here to uh, discuss about css we are here to learn about merge stack right okay so i'll see you guys in the next video maybe we have haven't worked on profile yet right we haven't worked on profile yet so we should work Let's say if I am logging in, here we can see yeah, change your password. What is this? Okay, yeah. Do we are are we storing password in this? Why it is showing us data breach and kind of stuff? No, this is we are not storing a password. No, why it is it was showing? like so okay let's go to this profile so we should we should work on this right our next target should be this so we'll be working on this profile in the next video